Well, the first problem I come across with uh, this system of folding these down like this is this overlap right here. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to get past that. So, the other idea is to not fold them together. To fold them this way. <coughs> now, um, I have plenty of deck here where the second crew member can come up here and pick this up and and between the two crew members be able to uh, stand it upright but uh, this deck may not be like this so having a crew member come out here and uh, pick this up may be a little more difficult I may have to use a whisker pole arrangement which would be you know kind of like this and then yank it on the whisker pole move the mass up and down but at least if it goes this way, I won't have that problem with them overlapping. And I think maybe I can only go one direction because a way of thinking about this part down here, if I went this way, <coughs> I want a locking system either one way or the other. And uh, I just don't know if I can make it structurally sound enough to go both directions. And it won't be a little hoop like this. It'll be some sort of a cam thing. The lock in place. But yeah, so I think that's my idea. This way. The booms would be uh, <coughs> somehow removable. They would be you know, pretty close to the deck here and uh, the folding part. They'd sit here. Uh, roller furling kind of boom. I can take it off, set it down, drop the sail. Or maybe even just drop the sail, then take it off. I'm not sure. But there we go. So if this is 30 feet, I got another 10 or 15 feet hanging off the end there. So like I said, this might be more of an ACAT um, wave piercing kind of hull. And so we probably won't have this much deck here because this would be pretty slender up to here. <coughs> 